Good morning, viewers. Good morning. Very warm welcome to the twenty-fourth episode of the Meet the Media Veteran series. Today, in the episode, we have someone whose experience spans from the field of advertising to film productions to curating film festivals across the globe. He is a writer, filmmaker, and a storyteller. He is someone who is the current president of you know Film Federation of India, which is the apex body of Indian cinema. his work and contribution to the media is massive as a storyteller he thinks everybody likes to hear a story if that story is good one likes to hear it again if by chance one is the part of that story one likes to hear it again and again and again these are the words with which he opened one of his corporate biographies he also says i was quite taken up by those words do we not try to personalize or add context to what we say or write when we communicate That is the way he writes, crafting the word for the context and the speaker, interviewing the threads so intricately that what one senses is, is the essence of essence, like fragrance in the air. So, before presenting his detailed introduction, may I first welcome the veteran writer, filmmaker, and current vice president of Film Federation of India, Mr. Ramesh Tekwani, to the show. Jayan, very warm welcome to the show, Mr. Tekwani. It's such Thank an honor to be on the show today. good to see you after a long time even though it's you know uh, virtually before uh, inviting mr tekwani to deliver his talk on writing for speaking let me present his biography to the audience ramesh tekwani is a writer director producer and a voice artist he is the vice president of film federation of india president docs and short ceo and creative director of take one audio visuals private limited as a trainer teacher ramesh tekwani preaches body practices In his 45 years as a professional, Ramesh has written and directed over 700 presentations, shorts, advertisement films, documentaries, shorts, including business videos and TV serials. He has also written and spoken commentaries for film divisions, newsreel, documentaries, and shorts. Truth and ethics being the watchword, his words have been spoken by many of the voice stalwarts of his time, like Amin Sehani, Brij Bhushan, Pratap Sharma, Zul Galani. Luka, Luku Sanyal, Nirmala Manthan, Sarita Sethi, Asha Sharma, Pandit Vinod Sharma, Harish Bimani, and Gulshan Dekuna. His professional foundation started with the Government of India's prestigious project site, which is Satellite Instructional Television Experiment, the largest and the most ambitious TV education program in the history. His space application center is Ro. Here Ramesh made a series of easily understood but hard to make science programs on film and video for children. These programs were beamed to 2,400 villages in Bihar, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, and Karnataka. His work won a Distinguished Achievement Award from Government of India and highly favorable review in in the national press. Ramesh was film's chief at the Clarion Advertisement, one of the top advertising agency in the India. As a writer at Clarion Macon Advertising, in addition to copy, Ramesh had written hundreds of shorts to sell dreams and hopes. Besides copy and script, he was also involved in the production of AD films, PVCs, corporate presentations for major advertisers brands in the private and public sector, including corporate social responsibility. He is the recipient of Ad Club Award for the best film demo. He is a Bombay University graduate. And has developed a series of lessons and workshops under the umbrella of Learn and Earn to familiarize the students and teachers at school and college level with entire spectrum of yeah, careers yeah. available in the audiovisual communications. Ramesh Tekwani has been very selective about leading his voice, landing his voice for the commercial assignments. His exciting programs in the public domain include Sanskar Stories and a series on Origins of the God. In more recent times. He was selected to land his voice for Lord Krishna's character in the audio rendering of Sri Madhav Bhagavad Gita, produced and marketed by Shyamaru. Mr. Ramesh Tekwani is not just a filmmaker, but a storyteller by choice. He believes that there is a cinema in India beyond Bollywood. The world needs to see it, and that it has to be monetized. Mr. Tekwani has extensively traveled across the country and abroad, and has conducted various workshops to new and emerging forms of storytelling, as well as the new form of the online distribution. It is such an honor having Mr. Ramesh Tekwani on the show today. So, without further delay, I request Mr. Tekwani to kindly deliver his talk on writing for speaking. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank you, Rizwanji. <laughs> thank you for 
you know, kind of giving this Maha Ram Katha of what one has done. Uh, Jain, ladies and gentlemen, you know, uh, how did we come about this topic? You know, there are many people, many people, institutions today uh, that offer to teach you to coach on how to speak in public, in private, at interviews, give speeches, in pri uh, address conferences, make presentations on camera, off camera, with a mic, without a mic. Others offer to teach you how to write books, resumes, business letters, applications, stories, screenplays. Now, between those who profess to train you to speak and those who want to help you master writing, there is many a slip between the script and the lip. Now, I write for a living. All right. And I uh, speak and create for a living. Create products to add color of India to people's lives. But more of that later. So, Instructional Media Center of Maulana Azad National Urdu University had a question of me. Is there a possibility of creating a bridge between words and their vocalization? And quite simply, as there was born the idea of this session, writing for speaking. For the better part of my professional life, I have written words that have to be spoken. Some I even sung, recited, dialogues, speeches, commentaries, presentations, you name it, I have written it. Now, you were just told that, uh, you know, in my life that I have made a lot of films, many of them, about 700 of them. I have also written most of them. They were all non-features, made-to-order films, and prepaid, sponsored documentaries, shorts, TV commercials, what have you. I made anything and everything that came my way, but no liquor, no cigarettes. Now, from the very beginning, my writing was rendered by the best of professional speakers, and Rizwanji has already listed them out for you. And there were more, all leaders in their field. I wrote to exploit their strengths. I mean, if I had a Zul Vilani speaking, my script would have a gentle tone. If it was commercialish, it was Pratap Sharma. If my script also had flaws, oh, come on, scripts had flaws, but where I knew them and admitted them, Pratap Sharma was your guy. Then, of course, there were, you know, the others that I used. So I used to exploit their strengths. And over time, working with them, I honed my writing skills. I polished them. How to put words together so that could be spoken comfortably, easily. And easily understood by almost everybody. While writing for them, I discovered that there was a skill called writing for speaking. Next thing I knew that because I could do that, I could also help people speak better, present better, not perfect, perfectly by Angreji standards, but effectively in their own skin as themselves with their own limitations and become more credible. The idea is to write so that people just take it in through their ears and understand what you're saying. Simple words, be it in Hindi, English, Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam, or whatever you wish to write in. So <laughs> let me digress. So if there is writing for speaking, is there a writing for not speaking? 
इन डॉक्यूमेंट्री फिल्म मेकिंग वाइल्ड लाइफ फिल्म मेकिंग एंड वेन यूर फिल्मिंग फॉर अ कॉज यस देर इज राइटिंग फॉर नॉट स्पीकिंग फॉर नॉट राइटिंग एट ऑल एंड थिंग्स हैपनिंग दीज फिल्म आर मेड बिकॉज द फिल्म मेकर वॉन्ट्स टू मेक दम दे हैव अ कीड़ा दे आर इंस्पायर्ड मूव वट एवर they make films great films and win awards to lots of them take my friend nalla muthu he is a wild he is a cinematographer come wildlife filmmaker now one day he went to ramthambore and saw some you know tiger cubs his first dose of brown sugar free he saw some tiger cubs and decided to shoot them now what does it cost to shoot he's got his camera it is free the cost was of course getting into ranthambore and shooting about 50000 rupees a day correct and if these little cubs are there and he's going to shoot on then he has to come back tomorrow when they grow bigger and then come again when they grow bigger and then come again when they grow bigger and when the tiger or the tigress it depends on what he what they turn out to be i mean they meet their mates and uh, you know then the story keeps going on now he knew it would take time he knew how the life cycle of a tiger but at 50000 rupees a day fees 100 to 200 days of shooting or maybe more a writer like me would be at a loss for words and what about the speaker he would be speechless but <laughs> nalla has made his films and as he's made them the writing came later depending on the material he got now miriam chandy menachari uh, is an award winning uh, documentary filmmaker and she was telling me you know uh, the origins of uh, her documentary uh, the rat race rat race has the distinction of being one of the first documentaries to be released in a multiplex and tickets people bought tickets for them commercial release for a documentary film oh it was an event unto itself nothing much has happened after that but nonetheless she got a better response in bangalore with housefuls than she got in bombay but the star value was there in bombay so miriam how did it all begin she sees an ad in the papers the municipality wanted rat catchers rat catchers i mean what do you do with rats ganpati travels on them and municipality going to get rat catchers in mumbai anyway so she decided that she's going to make a film on this subject so she goes to the municipality speaks to them and the film starts you know there there was actually an interview for rat catchers and they had to test test your bodily strength why because you had to stun the rat with a stick and kill them collect 30 of them and you got paid if you collected 29 you did not get paid now strange were the conditions and she decided to shoot now as the shooting progressed <laughs> she discovered strange things she discovered an officer who did disco dancing who thought he was travolta and he did a damn good job of it but this man was there helping around the way how did she include that film it was not part of the original concept not in the script but it was definitely part of a story so while you know this was going on the film kind of develops its own life it becomes a thriller you know unto itself the other kind are the ones who make films for a cause they have been on uh, this platform earlier nandan and kavita bahal both documentary filmmakers and they had read about these farmers suicides and they decided to make a film about it uh, when you go to shoot there i mean it's all very will be used to our cameras and shooting and suddenly Uh, the women say oh you're going to come and shoot and uh, you are going to go away 
you know, and then what happens to us? Now, they wanted to get the conditions of these people. The husbands were not there. The breadwinner was not there. And how are they going to survive in this new hell that is not of their creation? So Kavita, you know, looks at Nandan and she says, and sits down with the woman. And before she knows it, she becomes part of that story. She sucked in the, you know, totally emotional. And what can Nandan do? He just continues shooting. But this is not something you know, normally, you know, we shoot something as we'll edit it out later. This is not something you can shoot out, shoot or money. You can shoot, but not edit out later. The film was made, candles in the wind. And it told a story well. It took the message of these farmers, not just in India, but through festivals, it went across the world. Now, this is dedication, devotion, junoon, passion, madness with some method that is privy, privy only to these filmmakers. Now, sometimes documentaries also work differently. Naresh Bedi of Bedi Brothers was shooting his cherub in the mist. Like Nalla, he was trying to follow the lives of this red panda. He shot it for an extended period of time, you know, and then boom, one day the cherub has disappeared. Now, what does he do? So somehow he puts together a story and he makes his film and, and he has to write the script himself now. And it's almost like a progressive biography with an extempore touch. He got a voice, Praveen Sond, whose narration provided the continuous link with a soft, understated gentleness. So he did use an outside speaker. He wrote the script himself. The story happened. He could never have scripted in advance. And then, of course, let me tell you the traditional ways people make films. They write the script and they get somebody to speak it. But what if the subject is someone as great as Satish Gujral? Satish is an artist. He's a sculptor. He's a, an architect. He's a writer. Now, that's all very well. But he's also deaf from birth. So when he speaks, you know, uh, you know, there is, you know, his speaking is not the most perfect of speeches. Now, how? They, so he's he can't tell you his story. You have to tell his story through somebody else. But when you have a person of Satish Gujral's stature, the script has to it's not so nice. not underline him. The script also has to use words that match his stature. Now, if delivered by an ordinary person, these would sound like hyperbole, you know, pompous. But then Sujata Kulshestra used Kabir Bedi. The moment you hear your voice, you see the depth the film gets, and wow. The film goes on to win several awards. Now, these are all exceptional choices of these films. And they have been recognized with awards. And these are documentaries. Now, our subject, of course, is writing for speaking, now, which is no new phenomenon. In hindsight, I realized for me, Writing for speaking began 45 years ago in ISRO, my first ever job, Indian Space Research Center. And I had got a job 
to work on project site satellite instructional television experiment now if i were to tell you who my bosses were satish dhawan professor yashpal kiran karnik you'd be impressed but the really impressive guy was my immediate boss arun khopkar and arun khopkar was not one of those you know feudal type bosses you know swimming in their own importance hey ramesh pani lao chai lao no he did not treat his assistant like bonded labor he tried to get me involved in scripting you know he was a maths teacher you know before he went to ftii to learn filmmaking with me he had his own aryabhat moment he rediscovered not just the meaning but also the concept of zero embodied in me knowledge aptitude attitude i had none lucky for me the zero also continued with arun he had zero capacity to get discouraged zero or give up he carried on training me and i was not unwilling mind you all right he carried on training me and he taught me the finer points of purposeful writing short taking film grammar and then he sent me out on my first shoot <laughs> i mean you write in your bio data what you have done you don't write what you have not done and xavier's i mean you know it now as xic at that time you know did not have a screen writing course as part of its syllabus so where did i learn that i was only taught to shoot inside a studio you know two cameras here and there and uh, television you know multi camera shoot to television and i went out i shot and i screwed up but did arun khopkar give up no arun had acquainted me then arun sat down and acquainted me with shooting with a single camera now just as you write with a pen the camera of course grabs the images which we work with and for which we write now with a single camera they normally use a single camera to shoot for movies arun taught me that and it was called the triple take technique mere liye to kala akshar bhains barabar tha but i accepted and took it as an axiom triple take technique just for safety he reacquainted me with the master scene technique that is used for television and then sent me out to shoot again oh he did not come back he sent me out go shoot all this i discovered is all connected with script writing you cannot go out and shoot if you have no idea of what you are going to shoot about or oh, including those documentary filmmakers they know exactly what they want they have it in their minds they may or may not have put it down on paper but believe you me if they were asked they could they could put something down and say yeah this is what i want to talk about they don't know what the person is going to say so whatever they see me but this is what i want to show this is how i want to present and you are reasonably experienced know and be able to put down especially when you know you're sending your proposals or writing a pitch of course you have to then put your money where your mouth is and show a rough cut or shoot something and show them so at each progressive stage you have to show your progress all right now finally when all the shooting was over you know the things have to be assembled and recorded on to tape on the final day of recording arun had me sitting next to him on the recording console my god an unheard of thing for an assistant you know in those days 
he had to sit because he was the boss and he was responsible and he had to hand it over but he sat me next to him and let me call the shots yeah i was so thrilled friends i got a bonus the program was included in the very first capsule that was screened on the very first day the satellite tv programs were ever broadcast in this country the program went in his name correct that means how much did he trust me to allow him to make me a program and present it in his name now these things are all part of writing sharing credit allowing people collaborative working correct now thanks to this you know gesture of arun you know first he let me make more programs and because i was allowed to make more programs and assistant other colleagues of mine were also allowed to make programs and then one day all these programs are there they were screened to the press and the press wrote gloriously about the programs mine in particular was selectively written and carried by name oh boy was arun pleased as punch my father of course was not impressed ha theek hai naam paper mein aaya to kya hua but my mom told me he was thrilled and he was showing it around to people no not many gurus are like arun khokkar not many bosses are like arun khokkar you know arun khokkar's unstinting dedication to do a good job and see it through was not only infectious it was addictive and incurable the take home from isro kurtsi arun khokkar in particular was that children have a short attention span my god can you imagine 45 years ago we learned that children have a short attention span and today we learned that you and i have attention spans that are lesser than that so if you can engage them and entertain them you can educate them and this formula works with everybody little did i know as i said the long term value of this but there was something more something in all the mess of what i had presented to arun khopkar as a script oh i when he wrote like he sent me out on shoot he told me to go and write and i wrote he said what have you written so script i mean i didn't know i thought i had written a script because he told me to write a script i wrote it must have been a script he says what are you trying to say he said you, you read it you know but why I shrugged my shoulders. You know, in those days, this whatever was not invented. So I did shrug my shoulders, and and I just, you know, held my hand out. You know, I had nothing to say. I mean, you remember? I told you I had nothing in here. I did write something, and this is how it is. But something in all that mess that I presented to him caught his eye. It was that script that I had written for him for. A program called Shapes. It was an animation. I was interested in animation, so he had allowed me to shoot it. Now I didn't know that it had a live portion, so he taught me live shooting. Okay. Now the in the program, I was trying to write the script, the commentary, the descriptive of the animation. So how do you begin a shape? There's a point. Now. with the point you can create a line and with the line you can create shapes by moving the line about now i have told you i can describe that but how, how do i formally write it all right and not just in english i had to write in hindi and it didn't matter because uh, you know i'm from lucknow and you write hai na so i don't So my words, you know, there's a dot. 
you know, as I said, you, you, you stretch it, it becomes a line, you kincho the line, and the line becomes a shape, a square, or a rectangle. And my commentary went thus. Ye ek bindu hai. Sounds nice, no? You understand what I'm talking about? Ye ek bindu hai. The bindu ko kinchne se rekha banti hai. Now, in those days, these two names had different meanings for different people. Ye ek bindu hai. Bindu ko kinchne se rekha banti hai. Till then, it was good. Now, I had to now talk more. And naturally, my skills were limited. And so I continued. Rekha ko agar. Now, I'm trying to say that if you take the line and you move it thus. Rekha ko agar is tarah liya jaye. Rekha ko agar. Is tarah liya jaye, I don't know. To chokor banta hai. Or agar thoda or aage liya jaye, to the last words got lost. Arun was, you know, kind of laughing when he was reading a script. But I thought because I didn't know how to read a script, he was laughing at something else. It is much, much, much later that, you know, I, I may have discovered something or not. So I do not know what shapes. You know, uh, Arun was imagining at that point, but he must have seen some potential in me in my writing for words that have to be listened to and spoken. Correct. Uh, so he decided to invest his time and reputation in me. Correct. Writing for speaking. I will keep repeating this so that. You know, it's this Gujarati style of telephone conversation. Gujaratis used in the time when we had those, you know, Bakelite telephones, they used to always go speaking. Hello, you know what I'm trying to tell you? Oh, hello. Hello. And blah, 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 blah. Oh, hello. Blah, 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 blah. Every hello meant that I haven't finished speaking and that I will want to speak to you. You cannot tell a Gujarati, okay, I understand. Yes. Because the moment you use these words, they are sentence closed, you know, closing words, he will put the phone down. And it's not just Gujaratis. There are many people who feel uncomfortable using phone devices. I guess that was before the time of uh, smartphones and kids taking over the whole thing. Correct. Now, my next posting was a Clarion advertising. Clarion offered me a job. Because my apparent experience at ISRO with creating communication for rural advertising. Advertising wanted to do rural communication. What they all what really wanted to do was uh, fringe urbanization. I didn't know this. Amit Khanna acquainted me with these kind of words. Now, because I claim to write, oh, what a fraud I was. Because I claimed to write, I became part of the copy department. And the agency hoped, with my knowledge of filmmaking, it's I was an equal fraud in that area, would help me that my knowledge of filmmaking would help me demystify and clear the cloud of technical jargon being spewed in the agency. But before that, I had to show that I could write. Now, as luck would have it, the government through its nationalized banks was trying to help villagers. Election fever was on, so I had to make it relevant. My assignment, write. Likho. What do I write? Copy likho. Radio spot likho. Script likho. That is a brief, you know. Baki wo toh account kisi to batayega wo. But nonetheless, the account executives were very sweet. They briefed and they tell you what it's all about. And you know, someone had said, beginners have ignorance as their precious pri privilege. But re-beginners suffer and fail through distrust of knowledge. As luck would have it, many of my fears died prematurely. Beginner's luck. 
we had a lovely account director in clarin at that time the late mr sudhir lal oh he wasn't late at that time neither he ever came late to office but sudhir lal is now no more but sudhir lal was a unique man he dressed impeccably his english when he wanted to speak was beautiful all right he his idea of making a youngster like me comfortable was going vernac and colorful language wise ha <laughs> sudhir lal zindabad post the account executive's brief came his personal pep talk he put his arm around my shoulder and said take one e you know in this low conspiratorial voice take one e and affection and anger somehow come out better when you're using the surname my wife also calls me by my surname when she wants to scold me take one e aisa script likho ki client ki band baj jaye now that is as colorful that i am gonna go here let your imagination run wild there was no hypocrisy just total sincerity slightly filled with jargon if we can call it that uh, can we call band baj jaye jargon the pep talk was writing for speaking the pep talk was writing for speaking without actually putting pen on paper i was samajh mein har din har din naye din we write to speak except that we write in our minds and we speak correct and we do that and, and those who can do it fantastically and this also is there's a skill and we call it thinking on one's feet and speaking how many times you've complimented somebody with those words he's good at thinking on his feet and speaking all right so coming back to sudhir lal and his state bank what did i write for it ab likh diya aasha ki kiran lekar aaya bharatiya state bank isne hamare gaon ka zimma liya सब की मुसीबतें दूर की और गांव की तरक्की हुई नो आई है आशा की किरण लेकर आया भारतीय स्टेट बैंक इसने हमारे गांव का जिम्मा लिया अडॉप्टेड माई विलेज सबकी मुसीबतें दूर की हेल्प एवरीबडी और गांव की तरक्की हुई द विलेज प्रोग्रेस माई गॉड सो वट आई डन वॉज एक्चुअली इफेक्टिवली put the words of the account executives together so putting the proposition in copy except the way i put it i made it sound good writing for speaking the so speaking is also listening hearing understanding simple words of course it did not end there i went further sukhi aaj aur behtar kal ke liye aap bhi chuniye भारतीय स्टेट बैंक इलेक्शन था तो और उन्होंने ठप्पा दिखा दिया है ना स्टेट बैंक को वोटिंग करने का नाउ इन वन फेल स्वूप आई हैड एंड विदाउट नोइंग इट आई हैड रिटन कॉपी अ रेडियो स्पॉट एंड द फिल्म एंड आई डिडंट इवन नो इट और एन एस है ना सुधीर लाल वाज नॉट शॉर्ट ऑन प्रेज वो तो लंच खिलाने ले गया और लंच खिना ले लेगा तो होटल में बोल रहा है कि टेकवाने फिर वही कंधे पे हाथ रखकर राइट में देख के ऑर्डर करो जितना ऑर्डर करना है डरो डरना मत हम क्या ऑर्डर किए दाल विद तटका वेजिटेरियन आदमी और क्या करेगा है बट यू ऑल्सो हैड सम क्वेश्चन अ डिस्क्लेमर हियर बिकम्स नेसेसरी मोर सो बिकॉज आई वॉज स्टिल the dumb writer who did not know what arun khopkar saw in him in those days it was all right to be saucy without fear or guilt especially in an all male presence 
me too had a totally different meaning it referred to products and brands and not humans a me too product was a competitor of the market leader not our client a cheap rip off <laughs> it's these little so called cheap rip offs came and knocked the market you know asunder anyway sudhir fired the questions i was totally unprepared for just take one ye kaun aasha aur kiran hai oh my god shades of bindu and rekha tekwani ye kaun aasha aur kiran hai jinhe state bank le aaya hai sabki musibatein dur karne ke liye gaon ki tarakki ke liye he turns to the account executive and says uh, the all india radio accept karega he was speaking i was squirming writhing everybody else was laughing hey ram zavier's institute of communication has a course called a b c d e now this is all part of marketing a means announcing wo aap hawai jahaz mein jaate hain na to aerosis shuru kar deti hai apne meethe ya railway station mein jaate hain ya local train mein ja rahe hain b is broadcasting matlab ki news read jo news readers padhta tha ek zamane mein yaad hai doordarshan mein comparing comparing is all about public speaking khade raho microphone ke samne aur ye karo harish bhimani does it for uh, lata mangeshkar ji and she would have no one else other than him sarita sethi has her own set of clients and there are many who all have their own set of clients the comparing aajkal to shaadi mein bhi logon ko bulane lag gaye hain awards function mein bulane lag gaye hain unko log mc bhi kehte hain presenters bhi kehte hain but yahan to unko abcd kehni thi comparing hai na d is for dubbing dubbing was a bane of indian films matlab कि पुराने जमाने में फिल्में आती थी हॉलीवुड से जेम्स बॉन्ड को लोग देखने जाते थे अर्सुला एंड्रस को देख लेते बिकिनी में और पेट भर के आ जाते थे अब हॉलीवुड ने सोचा कि अगर इतना देखते हैं और द इंडियन पॉपुलेशन वॉज सो मच दैट इवन अ माइक्रोकॉजम मेड दम अ लॉट ऑफ मनी पर हॉलीवुड थिंक अ लिटिल मोर देन आर ओन फिल्म मेकर्स डू सो दे पुट इन द क्वालिटी द पिजाइज and they bring the indian films and get them dubbed now spider man speaks in hindi superman speaks in tamil all right wonder woman speaks in telugu oh my god and they do more business than indian films i mean we keep bragging about ki how 300 crores one of our films did in china it's a film from hollywood does 3000 crores So, I mean, we are kind of wondering if the way our films are made, one day these guys will, uh, you know, take over all our theaters. But then that will be, I think, more than six months from now. Right now, people will turn to the OTT platforms where the Hollywood, uh, the Hollywood filmmakers already exist. So A, B, C, D, E, announcing, broadcasting, comparing, dubbing, and E they introduced recently was e-book reading. अब ई बुक रीडिंग क्या हो गया है पीपल नो इंग्लिश दे अंडरस्टैंड इट बट सम हाउ सम हाउ दे हैव अ प्रॉब्लम दे कम अक्रॉस सम वर्ड विच इज क्यू यू आई सी एच ई क्यू यू आई C H E वो एक गोल चीज होती है ना जिसको हम खाते हैं बड़ी जायकेदार छोटी पाए या टाट जैसी होती है अब अपना देहाती एक गया उधर होटल में वेटर को बोलता है मैं है वो क्विकी प्लीज और धाड़ करके उसने थप्पड़ मार दी तो हमारा जो प्रोनाउंसिएशन ऐसा होता है जानते नहीं है दे डोंट नो हाउ टू यूज अ डिक्शनरी सो दे नीड बुक्स दैट आर रिकॉर्डेड सो यू 
can't sit and read, you sit and listen to books. All right. Now, when books are written, now in the good old days, people crafted them, you know, to uh, write, you know, luxuriously. But today, you know, when you have young writers like Chetan Bhagat, or even the president of India, ex-president of India, writing, they make sure of their audiences and they write. Because some of us read aloud, and if it can be read aloud, it can be heard and understood. This is a novel. I'll just read the blurb that is written here. There's a lawyer. There are three partners who have come to a lawyer to incorporate their business. What are you then, the lawyer asked, a, a partnership? Hand, Lee, and Mango, the three partners, exchanged glances. They seemed to be able to communicate without speaking. Yes, Han said, I believe you could call us a partnership. So the lawyer says, first, we'll need a corporation. The lawyer said tentatively, does your present partnership deal in goods or services? Services, said Hand. And what exactly is the nature of services the partnership provides, the lawyer asked. We kill people. So the book is called Going Public, and the protagonists who are assassins want to set up and incorporate their business. All right. You see this book? So many pages. My God. When Amit Khanna wrote it, oh God. People thought, how would we read it? But then Amit Khanna is a man who knows his audiences. The 1950s, the first decade after independence, was tumultuous and turbulent. As the new nation struggled to find its feet amid the terrible aftermath of partition, in which over 14 million people had been displaced and an estimated 1 million killed, it started its journey on its tryst with its new destiny, with meager resources and mountains of problems. Have you noticed how he's used certain keywords that we've heard on the eve of independence? All right. A new constitution drafted by a committee led by B.R. Ambedkar was adopted, making India a sovereign democratic republic on 26 January 19. And in 1952, India held its first general elections. It's 12.30. Jawaharlal Nehru, Mahatma Gandhi's favorite disciple, became the first democratically elected prime minister. And the entire writing, you start and you'll find it difficult to put down. Or oh, incidentally, a disclaimer, I have paid for this book. The president of India is talking about the satellite launch vehicle. All right. The SLV-3 project had been formulated in such a way that the major technology work centers, both at VSSC and at Shah, could handle propellant production, rocket motor testing, and launch of any large diameter rocket. As participants in the SLV project, we set three milestones for ourselves. Development and flight qualification of all subsystems through sounding rockets by 1975. Suborbital flights by 1976 and the final orbital flight in 1978. Even the words don't make sense to you. You accept them and you understand that these were the pre-qualifications for them to go to the next step. The work tempo had picked up now and the atmosphere was charged with excitement. Can you imagine? Scientists, excitement, thrill. Whatever, wherever I went, our teams had something interesting to show me. A large number of things were being done for the 
first time in the country and the ground level technicians had had no prior exposure to this kind of work. Can you imagine how even in his writing and his biography, he's praising his country, he's praising his workers, and he is making you sound like you are party to what he had experienced. I saw new performance dimensions coming among my team members. This, so whoever writes has to write in a manner that may not be read. Because when this was written, I don't think ebooks was a business to reckon with. All right. But nonetheless, ebooks is here to stay and people are going to talk about it. I am just looking at the notes so that we can finish off what we are saying. A few points I'll make here and there. All the guys who really speak well speak in their own language. Now, I can speak in English, which I have made my own language. I can speak in Hindi. I can speak in Sindhi. I can read Gujarati, but it is not my language, so I cannot speak in it. I cannot be fluent in it. I cannot be emotional in it. I cannot be manipulative in it. I cannot, you know, share my emotions with you. Correct? The speakers, they speak from their hearts. They speak their own words. Or they own the words they speak. Like Kabir Bedi, when he was given the script for Satish Gujral. All good writing, and when speakers speak it, they present a premise. They present a promise, an assurance of something better. Ji haan, aap ke manoranjan ke saathi, Philips Transistor, Asha ki kiran lekar aya Bharatiya State Bank. All these things have a premise, a promise, an assurance of something better. And how it can be obtained. And often, good write, writing can make this happen. And that is how the subject came about. Writing for speaking. Any questions? Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Tekwani, for such an enlightening talk today. Uh, uh, because this also we, we don't find normally in you know public domain writing for speaking. I haven't seen you know many e lectures on YouTube or any other media platform. So we are so happy. We are so lucky to have you on this platform today and speaking on this uh, you know topic, important topic in such a length. Uh, it's been very enlightening, enlightening for me as well and for the audience as well. So now we are already touching at least one hour now. So I'll quickly take the audience question. And uh, maybe if time permits, then I'll, I also have a few questions. So we'll keep on taking those questions as well. Uh, the first question comes from uh, Shraddha Rizwan. She says, how to practice narration, uh, narration drawings for different genre of uh, storytelling, humor, horror, emotional documentary, etc., keeping energy level the same? One, get yourself the scripts to so start reading. Start reading first, first of all. Now, how would I present something? Thanks to this, he let me make more programs. Thanks to this, he let me make more programs. Now, it all begins with writing. So whether it's humor, it is you know serious, the writing takes care of the first part of the emotion. Does that make sense to you? And then, of course, there's practice, practice, practice. When I spoke for the first time, now we were doing a scratch recording for a uh, you know, uh, radio spot. And I had written the words, Ji haan, aapke manoranjan ke saathi, Philips Transistor. Ab gaane wali ne galiya, Kavita Krishnamurti. Kavita Krishnamurti to nahi thi, wo bhi scratch kisi se karwaya tha. And I had got the likes of Kaumudi Ben, Kaumudi Ben Munshi, to sing for it in Uday, Mazumdar, her son, to do the music for a scratch. And they were my friends, they did it. And of course, I did the commentary because I didn't know that there were voices who could speak commentary. So I said, Ji, ha, aapke manoranjan ke sati, Philips transistor. The recording studio manager was a khas. He was the manager, he was the uh, owner, and he was a Sindhi. So he looks at me and he says, 
what is this you know you, you people always want to save money why don't you get a professional to do your speaking so there was a gentleman there in jewel in a jewel thief topi of devanand and he came there and he said ask him to speak for you he was ajay chadda i didn't know ajay chadda ajay chadda went on the mic took his put his hand on his topi and slid it back and he raised his head and spoke into the mic ji ha aapke manoranjan ke sathi philips transistor so i said hey wait a minute i i i have heard that somewhere i had yet to meet amin sayani but ajay chadda was a total fan of ajay chadda amin sayani and he was one of the best dubbing artists ever i shook his hand didn't pay him any money i was scolded once again by the studio manager that i don't pay professionals a, he never taunted me or reminded me of the money mr chadda but if there was a recording that i could use him in he was there 100% of the time it was a debt i couldn't repay and there was a lot of learning that i did under him with him yes hope this question is well answered uh, she has supplementary question one more question she asked further how writing changes for different genre of storytelling humor horror emotional etc so is a question like you know do you think you know if writing has changed over the years for different genre like you know storytelling uh, or different genre like humor horror or emotional it does change it does change because if i'm talking to a child you know if i'm going to tell him ek din ek andheri raat mein correct i would actually use the tone for the child but if i was telling the same thing to my wife and i would tell a raat andheri thi but i will be a bit more descriptive about it all sun san tha dur dur tak kuch dikhta nahi tha to there is more de descriptive when you're going to adults all right and then you can add if you're going into the audio visual medium there's nothing like sound to you know wreck somebody's nerves but yes the writing the word putting together of words changes with each communication with each you know genre so to say you have to change it otherwise how will people know that you have changed right great so uh, there is one more question from a site uh, she further asked this you know while doing dubbing i find it difficult to listen the original language audio in my ears and perform myself in another language the result comes as if i am reading it is only if i go just with the lip movement of the animation that i am able to perform well it definitely takes then takes more time to record any way to deal with this problem very easy take the headphone off <laughs> now no no it does become a problem because it you know it interferes with your own speaking you're not hearing your own voice so that you don't know how well you're delivering or whether you know your uh, pronunciation your tone your enunciation diction is proper or not correct mm -hmm. now what happens is that there's a sentence it is so long and there is some uh, you know duration and there are certain uh, lip matching points all right so once you get the hang of the length and the duration and the rhythm of the words remove the damn headphone and speak correct you don't have to worry in today's day and time you know these guys are they electronically they can you know shift your uh, writing uh, your speaking back and forth to match it to the picture i mean this is the easiest thing on earth to that to that uh, so we have another question from mr ravi ranjan he asked you know a koi pustak is vishay par uplabdh hai kya writing for you know speaking koi agar book aapke zehen mein ho रिकमेंड करना चाहे ऑडियंस को लिखा था मैं आपको झट से बता दू तो नोट आपके लिए लिखे थे बट आज के सेट जब आप हम जब हम हम लिखते हैं है ना लिखते हैं कम्युनिकेट करते हैं तो कुछ आठ चीजों नौ चीजों को हमें ध्यान में देना चाहिए 
एक आवाज योर ऑडियो योर एटीट्यूड योर अंदाज योर अपील योर आकर्षण मतलब हाउ अपीलिंग यू आर एंड दी अथॉरिटी और जिस अधिकार से आप बोलते हो आप समझे ना तो ये इन चीजों को ध्यान में रखना चाहता है और जब आप डिलीवर करते हो तो यू मस्ट एस्टोनिश एस्टाउंड अमेज एंड गिव देम समथिंग दैट दे हैव नॉट एंटिसिपेटेड नो ऑल दीज थिंग्स हैव टू गेट इंक्लूडेड इन योर स्पीकिंग नो आई हैव रिटन दीज डाउन वेयर डिड आई गेट देम फ्रॉम आई पिक देम फ्रॉम बिट्स एंड पीसेस हियर एंड देयर बट नो देयर इज नो बुक दैट आई नो ऑफ करेक्ट आई आई ट्राई राइटिंग इट बट आई हैव माय नोट्स आई हैव माय नोट्स writing for speaking must mean you write and then you must put it aside remember it and speak it must be part of your system i have a friend called feroz khan feroz khan is a thet indian uski angrezi pronunciation is a mix of indian and american but feroz khan is a master of his subject he is a master of his subject and everything is based on the foundation of quran wo shuru karte hain to prarthna shuru karte hain aur jab bolne lagte hain to by god aap bas sunte hi rehte ho aur sunte rehte ho aur sunte rehte ho agar aap firoz khan ke wo t3 t3 is what they call themselves unke aap youtube pe jaiye aur wahan dekhiye aur teen aur cheeze teen aur youtube pe ja sakte ho the lalan top पलट तेरा ध्यान कहाँ है और जैमी पैंट्स फोर के दीज पीपल वेन दे स्पीक दे ऑल दे स्पीकिंग इज रिटन रिटन इन एडवांस एंड नॉट जस्ट रिटन इट इज पैकेज ऑल्सो वो इंट्रोड्यूस करते हैं टॉपिक को अपने आप को पेश करते हैं पूरी सब्जेक्ट आपको पेश करते हैं एंड दे इज अ बिगिनिंग दे इज अ मिडल दे इज एन एंड एंड दे इज अ सरप्राइज and by god if you listen to them the kind of research that goes in i am a fan of saurab devedi i am a fan i i sit and listen to him for hours right abhi jab mujhe geeta ki recording karni padi to i had to go through an audition ab audition to ho gayi select ho gaya ab hamari client hai na uh wo kehti hai hame chai pilana chahti hai maine kaha chalo free mein chai mil rahi hai तो हमारे लिए सिंधियों के लिए तो कहते हैं ना व्हाट इज फ्री इज कंपलसरी तो मैं तो चला गया चाय पीने बोले टेकवानी जी आपकी आवाज तो सही है लेकिन आपको श्री कृष्ण का रोल अदा करना है मैंने कहा वो बताया मुझे तो श्री कृष्ण इज नॉट यू नो राइटिंग फॉर स्पीकिंग गीता वॉज रिटन विद अ डिफरेंट पर्पज इन माइंड और तो श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण जी पहले <coughs> तो अर्जुन के दोस्त होते हैं मतलब वो रूप उसके उनके ड्राइवर हैं मानो रॉयल एनफील्ड में या वो अपनी कन्वर्टेबल गाड़ी में घूम रहे हैं और अर्जुन श्री कृष्ण जी को बोलता है अरे चला बगुया को वाट लावायची अब हमने तो अंग्रेजी में किया अब वो कहते चला बगुया को वाट लावायची देखे किसकी बैंड बजानी है तो श्री कृष्ण जी चुपचाप गाड़ी का स्टेयरिंग व्हील फेरते हैं सामने ले जाते हैं और अर्जुन देखता है कौन है यार ये है वो है वो है वो है वो है वो तो हल्ला है तो सगड़े माजे मतलब माई ओन रिलेटिव माई किथ एंड किन एंड ऑल दैट हाउ दल कैन आई अब वेन अर्जुन बिकम्स अनकोऑपरेटिव कृष्ण सडनली बिकम्स शोज इज विश्व रूप एंड देर द वॉइस इज डिफरेंट बिकॉज सडनली ही इज द मास्टर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स यू रिमेंबर यू सी मास्टर्स ऑफ द यूनिवर्स दिस ऑफ श्री कृष्ण हिया अब श्री कृष्ण को इस रूप में देख के सडनी अर्जुन रियालाइज ओ शिट माई गॉड वट आर आई टॉकिंग टू यू नो इट्स लाइक यू नो मोदी जी ड्राइविंग द कार फॉर मिस्टर शाह नाउ वॉट हैपन वट आर माई डूइंग तो इसे सॉरी यू नो आई मीन प्लीज सडनी यू नो श्री कृष्ण जी कम्स डाउन एंड बिकम्स ह्यूमन वंस अगेन एंड बिकम्स एन एल्डर ब्रदर and that's when he gives them the total gyan of gita so these were the three words three ways that so when you're speaking this can happen in a paragraph you start off by you know saying something lightly and suddenly you say something that knocks the hell out of them so you start with sucking them in engaging them and then you go about educating them elevating them empowering them that's what all communication is all about
Great. So we have your know, uh, next comment come sort of question from Mr. Krish Kumar. He says, you know, following with the last question of uh, uh, Ms. Shraddha, it, it is one thing to get the emotional question with the story and writer in ourselves. Next, and the crucial part is how to bring the audience onto our platforms. Therein comes marketing mantra. Would to like to know your insights onto it. If it demands a new session, please guide me. Glad to have listened to you today. <laughs> you know, I was told that this session was half an hour to 40 minutes. I have rehearsed it five times. I've written it thrice. I wrote it on the first day and it started differently. It had Nehru's twist for destiny and various things. Then I wrote it a second day. It had various details of how to, you know, kind of write and speak and, you know, how to pronounce and these kind of things. I said, no, our thing is writing for speaking. Then I rewrote the entire thing. And when I rewrote it, then I wrote it from the point of view of the people who had called me to speak. All right. My relationship with the director of Manu goes back several years and we've shared quality time together in which we have shared a lot of experience and various things. It's not enough to make the films. Films to koi bhi bana sakta hai. Likhna bhi koi bhi lik sakta hai. Try writing. Except that what you write the first time, leave it aside, write it again. Leave it aside, write it again. Leave it aside, write it again. If it is a commercial assignment, you have to stop somewhere because there's only so much you can do for so much money. You can do much more, but you have to put in your best. Like Abhijat Joshi and uh, what's his director, yaar? Raju Hirani. When they write, when they write their ideas and ideas and ideas and ideas and ideas and ideas. And, ideas. and they have so many ideas that they keep experimenting with. And they'll put in a film, string it together, and, then, and they'll put the best of the ideas in. I was an ass. I did not have an experience. And I had heard this song, Ek, Do, Teen, Char, Panch, Che, Saat, Aat. And I got a chance to put it in a small audiovisual. Now I said, where do I put it? I put it in such a big idea. I put it in the AV. I didn't get a chance to put it in the AV. And when I chance it, the damn song became outdated. So you have to put in your best, put your and keep writing, rewriting, keep rewriting and read it. You got a you got your mobile uh, record in it. Hear yourself. The most important thing is no matter when you're reading for rehearsal, you read fast. When you're reading for presentation, automatically when you're teaching or I'm presenting, the speed slows down. But when you're speaking, for a film, it has to fit in 30 seconds. It has to fit in half an hour. It has to fit in so much. You do not have the liberty to put in there. Does that make sense? To that. that, yeah. I'm sure, Krish, your question is well answered. Uh, so, you know, before we finish this show, I'll request if you have some, you know, audio clippings with you, if you could play, you know, maybe two, three versions so that, you know, audience sort of uh, get a sense of, you know, different sort of writings. Uh, for different shows or maybe for different genre of uh, uh, television shows or social media or maybe cinema so that will be beneficial okay i'll do that yeah. many years ago there was an emperor who loved fine clothes. He did not care for hunting. He did not care for plays or opera. He was no lover of gourmet food or wine. His only ambition was always to be well dressed. He had a different coat for every hour of the day. He loved to walk about and show off his fancy outfits. One day, two strangers arrived in town. They were swindlers but they said they were master weavers from a faraway land. You heard the story of the emperor's new clothes. It is available on YouTube. You can go and listen to it. 
but when the person is delivering it she is speaking to children or people who want to listen to a story and the words are slow and measured there is no difficult words uh, now i was talking of lalan talk right and sort of the vedi you know who i adore a sort of allows people working under him to shine in fact he actually created a program to celebrate one of his reporters hear it kaha gaya ye see how he builds up the story ye pehli nazar mein dekhne par ek sadharan si ladki ki kahani ho sakti hai ये एक ऐसी लड़की की कहानी हो सकती है जिसका सबसे ज्यादा जतन अपने चश्मे को अपनी नाक पर टिकाए रखने का ये एक ऐसी लड़की की भी कहानी हो सकती है जिसकी आवाज को लेकर कई दफा कई लोगों ने मजाक करने की कोशिश की ये एक ऐसी लड़की की कहानी भी हो सकती है जो अपने घर से जरूरी किस्म की बगावत वैसे बगावतें जरूरी ही होती है कर कर हो ताकि वो पत्रकार बन सके और पत्रकारिता के इसी जुनू के लिए वो कभी नॉर्थ ईस्ट के इलाकों में बसेरा डालती है और कभी माइक लिए चुनाव की डगर पर चमकाती है ये कहानी उस लड़की के लिए हो सकती है जो दुनियादारी के पीछे का चेहरा है विचार है मेहनत है ये कहानी मेरी सहयोगी स्वाति मिश्रा की हो सकती है लेकिन स्वाति मिश्रा ने भी एक कहानी लिखी है आपके लिए जैसे वो रोज लिखती है और आज सौ दफा लिखी है नमस्ते मैं हूँ स्वाति अगर आप देख रहे हैं ये लंदन टॉप का इंटरनेशनल न्यूज बुलेटिन दुनियादारी यू सॉ हाउ यू बिल्ड द इंट्रोडक्शन यू हैव टू सिट एंड वॉच इट गो टू लंदन टॉप इट्स कॉल्ड दुनियादारी द प्रोग्राम ऑल राइट कहा गया ये This program is called Tried and Refused. As of constantly writing about Hindi films, I often wondered about the dearth of content the Hindi film industry had to offer. As I woke up from a coma and understood that India is not only restricted to the films that get produced from Mumbai, it led me to venture into exploring Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, and Malayalam cinema. I realized and experienced the riveting and path-breaking cinema our country had to offer. After analyzing films like Arjun Reddy, RX 100, and Super Deluxe, I came across a film that since the past Forty-eight hours, I had oddly become obsessed with. I came across the psychological thriller Rakshasan, meaning Rakshas or the Devil, starring Vishnu, Amla Paul, and Munish Kanta, and directed by Ram Kumar. A movie that focused on an aspiring director who pitches his movie idea of a serial killer film, but gets constantly rejected by producers due to the lack of viability with its dark theme. family pressure and typical indian anxiety with lack of structure leads for the man to join the police force within just a few minutes of the film we get transported to the gruesome murders of female students leading got that see how clear this person is and of course all these films have an end packaging load more so that we who crave for cinema extraid your release is going to be and that was a video guys write down in the comments below what you thought about the movie and whether you have other south indian recommendations please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handle is right in front of you follow me at jammy pants for also please also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching then the other one uh, is palat tera dhyan kahan hai let me just ha huh. now this is also tried and tested kaha gaya ha ye iske prakop se achhuta nahi dosto desh bhar mein corona ka mahol hai aur jiske chalte na keval desh ki arthyavastha par bura asar pada hai बल्कि देश की फिल्म इंडस्ट्री यानी बॉलीवुड भी इसके प्रकोप से अछूता नहीं रहा है 
फर्स्ट फर्स्ट शो की बेताबी हो या वीकेंड में फैमिली के साथ थिएटर में फिल्म देखना ये सब कुछ बंद हो चुका है ऐसे में फिल्म मेकर अपनी रुकी हुई फिल्मों को ओटीटी प्लेटफॉर्म पर रिलीज कर रहे हैं आज के इस एपिसोड में हम कुछ उन फिल्मों की बात करेंगे जो इस साल आपको नेटफ्लिक्स पर देखने को मिलेंगी तो शायद ये कोरोना ना होता तो थिएटर्स में रिलीज होती वेलकम टू पलट तेरा ध्यान किधर है इसमें सबसे पहले हम बात करेंगे पलट तेरा ध्यान कहां है ऑल राइट सीरियस इट हैज अ बिगिनिंग मिडिल एंड एंड I will show you a little bit of my own writing that is available in public domain. Okay. Right. Uh, Ranji, I can show it, na? I mean, I can play it, na? Please go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Kamani Akbar Birbal ki Birbal tarif kar rahe the Alu ki. आलू से आला कुछ नहीं फिर एक दिन जब बादशाह अकबर ने आलू का सेवन किया तो निराश हो गए घोषित कर दिया आलू से घटिया कोई चीज ही नहीं और बीरबल ने तुरंत ही बात मान ली बीरबल के इस पलटने से बादशाह अकबर दम रह गए हाजिर जवाब बीरबल ने झट से कह दिया जरूर मेरे जहां पर ना आप हैं आलू नहीं आसमान घना घना सा था पूरब की पुरवाई छू छू जाती थी सावन का महीना बारिश की बूंदों ने मस्ती मचाई थी मिट्टी से उठी सौंदेसी खुशबू खोले से मन में समाती थी जो खिला था दिस वॉज in the backdrop of a stormy night the divine child is born in the most forbidding ambience of a prison cell a descender pointing to the most dramatic harbinger of triumph of good over evil at the very outset the lord of preserve the world and its essential goodness glory his many of stars earlier takes the most human and memorable journey as krishna Walking the earth in its mortal creatures, Krishna's birth itself sets the tone of his most dramatic and awe-inspiring life story. Wonderful. When nature wreaks havoc, it does so sometimes with an iron It's hand, hours. without mercy. Striking impartially at one's property and person without distinction, with basic existence at stake, one isn't even aware or capable of reaching out for help. It is now that a smile, a helping hand. A warm gesture goes a long way, and thus begins the restoration of faith. Great. हम सब भारत वासी के फिर भी मन में भेद अनेक इन्हों मुस्लिम सिख इसाई है क्या जरूरी ऐसी जुदाई? Are we still slaves of our petty thoughts? After fifty years of freedom, Rajwani, wonderful. wonderful, wonderful. I think this is the longest session we had in this series. It's like you know, oh I think now almost one and a half hours. So before I close this show, you know, uh, I have very simple question to you because uh, this has been a wonderful session, and uh, you know. ब्रॉडली हम लोग ये जो राइटिंग फॉर स्पीकिंग का सिनारियों को एक मतलब पॉपुलर अगर फील्ड से हम डिवाइड करें लाइक एक स्टेज राइटिंग होता है फिर एक सिनेमा राइटिंग हो गया टेलीविजन राइटिंग रेडियो राइटिंग डिफरेंट डिफरेंट जॉन्स हैं सबके मीडिया के साथ में लाइक एक 
एक एक तरफ अगर छोटा भीम है तो एक सिनेमा में एक नरेशन भी वो बैकग्राउंड में चलता है या फिर आप कैरेक्टर्स की वॉइस को लिखते हो डिफरेंट फिक्शन का जो कैरेक्टर होता है या डॉक्यूमेंट्री की वॉइस और आप लिखते हो ध्यान में रखना चाहिए वाइल दे आर अटेम्प्टिंग राइटिंग फॉर ए जॉन बेसिकली फॉर स्पीकिंग वेदर इट फॉर फॉर द टेलीविजन सिनेमा रेडियो और मे बी फॉर यू नो सोशल मीडिया और और मे बी अदर प्लेटफॉर्म सो एक अगर कोई छोटी छोटी टिप हम यंगस्टर्स को दे पाए आज के शो के थ्रू तो आई थिंक इट विल बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर द ऑडियंस एक चीज अगर हमें कुछ भी लिखना है और इफ यू वांट टू राइट एनीथिंग यू मस्ट हैव समथिंग टू राइट अबाउट जैसे आज का सेशन डेढ़ घंटे का हो गया हम तो 35 45 मिनट करके चले थे है कि नहीं है और इसको अगर लंबा किए जाए तो दो दिन चल सकता है है कि नहीं है कमलेश पांडे जी ने मतलब जो फिक्शन राइटिंग का सेशन लिया था इट वाज टू आर सेशन ओवर सेवन डेज है ना आई थिंक यू शुड गेट सम टाइम इन द फ्यूचर बट उसमें तो उसमें ये क्या होता है कि पहले तो कलेक्ट ऑल द डेटा दैट यू कैन जमा करते जाओ और साथ में लिखते भी जाओ कि क्या क्या होना है क्या पता कभी कभी एक अजीब सी चीज निकल आती है it took the third draft for me to make maulana azad university all right to bring that into the forefront because aap log film mein banate ho aapke professor log film mein direct karte hain wo khud filmon mein patra ban jate hain they speak in their own voices they know the subjects they are not because being subject experts they can present their subjects best I mean, this is what I have got from your films. तो क्या होता है कि अगर किसको भी कुछ भी लिखना है कम से कम पहले तो पूरे अपने फैक्ट कॉलेट करो अरे कहानी को तो एक लाइन में क्या एक लाइन में आप पूरी कहानी बता सकते हो लाइक आर फुल स्टोरी वॉज राइटिंग फॉर स्पीकिंग खत्म हो गई बात वॉट इज द बिगिनिंग वॉट इज द मिडिल वॉट इज द एंड इट डिड हैव दैट करेक्ट द मिडिल कुड हैव बीन एक्सपैंडेड डिपेंडिंग कि हमें तीन घंटे का शो बनाना था कि डेढ़ घंटे का शो बनाना था कि पंद्रह मिनट का शो बनाना था बट एवरी राइटिंग हैज टू हैव अगिनिंग मिडल एंड एंड इट हैज टू पे ऑफ एवरीवेयर माई एक्सपर्टीज इज इन दरिया ऑफ नॉन फिक्शन बट फॉर फिक्शन बेसिकली द रूल्स अप्लाई यू नीड योर डेटा रिसर्च करो और फिल्म फिल्म फिर फिल्म बनाओ आपको मालूम ही नहीं है तो क्या करोगे है ना सो यू नो सम थैंक्स मैसेजेस फ्रॉम दी ऑडियंस श्रद्धा सेज थैंक्स ए टर्न एंजॉय दिस सेशन एंड लर्न इमेंसली रवि रंजन सेज धन्यवाद सर देन वी हैव वन मोर पर्सन ही सेज वंडरफुल सेशन लॉर्ड्स टू टेक होम and uh, bina says thank you uh, so much for this session and it, it was such a lovely session really you know abhi enjoyed i did ghanta kahan pass ho gaya pata nahi laga bilkul bhi hum logo ko sana did ghanta mera chehra dekh kar ye log dekh kar rahe hain come on <laughs> imagine if we could cut away to you know the visual support to that to that it could have been much longer session but it was a wonderful session such a scintillating session it's really enriched you know all of us at different levels how to write uh, for for different genres and for different mediums i am sure this is going to be a good academic resource for the you know future generations especially for these students of cinema television radio and different mediums you know who want to sort of approach for this particular uh, field i really thank you so much for joining us today mr takewani it has been such a learning experience having you on the show today thank you very much jayan thank you so much for joining us today so we have only that much in the show today uh, we will join you back on next saturday at 11:30 am uh, next saturday we will be having our dr nakul prashar uh, uh, director vigyan prashar he'll be speaking on you know science communication in india you know challenges and uh, opportunities in in this domain uh, so kindly join us so next saturday at 11:30 am uh, on uh, imc manu official abbi page uh, will be back again on next saturday 
so till then take good care of yourself stay home and stay inside thank you so much for joining us today goodbye